Good evening, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, we have uh, an overturned uh, tractor trailer with, uh, according to the CHP officer, uh, it has uh, 46,000 pounds of, uh, I believe it's a uh, synthetic turf. I peeked a hole through the, through the rip portion of the trailer and it looked like it was rolls of it. So, um, Luckily, the, the load is still intact, so we're gonna try to roll it over, but as you can see, we're right under the bridge. And even with boom, uh, with the big flippers boom, almost hitting the top, I'm barely at 20 degrees. So um, it's gonna be extremely difficult to roll it over on here with the limited height. So we're gonna have to uh, uh, drag it out into the open air over here. So we have Echo and Dave already uh, putting the pull pins so, cool. so we could start dragging it out. Walking around, but I know there's very limited light. But you can see here the, the, um, the trailer pretty much uh, still intact. It did sustain, did sustain some damage from the guardrail over there when it rolled over over there on the dirt. That's a driver actually, he's fine. Did you guys find one? Did you guys find one? No? I just switched them. Put the yeah, I just put the little one up there. It's gonna pull anyways. Gravity will hold it. What do you need? An equalizer sling? I'll put an equalizer sling. Yeah. Are you gonna put chains or chain? Okay. All right, good night, guys, ladies and gentlemen. I'm arriving a little bit late on scene to this huge, massive call. I bought our uh, environmental truck. This is cause uh, they need the airbags. I used them on a recent job and you'll see why we need it, why it's mandatory. What's up Echo? We got a fully loaded tractor trailer. Let me just adjust the uh, ISO settings and I'll jump up there. Man, it is dark. The Sony is magic though. What I'm gonna do is take off my uh, lens cap and you'll see how bright this puppy can get. There we go. Night filter is off. So what these boys got is a fully loaded tractor with the dry van trailer. And that's the driver sitting all the way at the end of the bridge. Not only is it a loaded dry van trailer that buckled as you can see right here, 
but it's under a tiny nine foot bridge impossible to put the booms out here and get get on this side so what alex and dave are gonna do looks like they're already setting up pretty much done is they're gonna attach the winch lines to the front of the tractor and drag it out as much as they can so we could have a good working area with the booms right here Now, if you guys have been, uh, a lot of you guys have been commenting if I quit, with the Josh quit or what happened to Josh or where's Hulk. The truth of the matter is I pretty much run the show. From pricing every single invoice, answering every work email, handling every piece of mail, everything, everything you could imagine. Um, it's quite busy. So ever since uh, we, we had hired Alex, he's able to take a lot of this rotator work away from me and essentially become the star of YouTube and allow me to do my, my work stuff. So I'm bringing the guys the airbags. That's not budging, huh? Make sure that my winch breaker is on. How much is in the load? 46k all right well over 50 with the trailer and then 20 something almost 30 with the tractor Ready? you're, you're pulling on, huh? there we go I'm going to get the shot of the trailer right here just so you guys can see how bad it is.
slowly but surely. Oh, you're pushing flipper, man. Slowly but surely. A 53 footer too. All right, that was cool. I'm gonna turn the camera off while they pull forward and move uh, the hazmat truck out of the way. All right, round two. So now that I stand back, I mean, you guys can easily, easily see uh, the horrible working room we have here. Now I've done jobs like this where we manhandle it under the bridge, but that's for a container. Containers have a lot more leeway. They got very easy lift points and they're easy to manhandle for us with these trucks. But on a loaded drive and you need height. And we wouldn't even hit 15 degrees. So they made the smart call to slowly pull it out so we have uh, all of this working room. Make it a lot easier and safer. You can clearly see this thing's completely jacked up. This is the safest, most efficient way to do it. And that's the way they're gonna do it. So like I was alluding to earlier, now that I have Alex in the daytime, that's why you see I'm so much more on these jobs, is where I was a primary and only day rotator guy, I have Alex. And on a job like this, I'm able to kick back, provide the airbags and let the guys do their work while I make them famous on YouTube and look good. That's Dave's good angle, by the way. Looks like the top is almost at the nose of the tractor, so once it touches out, there's only 53 feet left. By the way, how strong is Big Flipper, man? You can hear, even with the winch brake on, it wants to roll back.
But my dad spec this one out specifically for huge jobs like this with the bigger size uh, dual turrets. You rarely see a truck like that with six winches. You got the two turrets, the auxiliaries on the main lines. So what I'll do is let me just leave this on wide angle. Uh, this might be boring to some of you guys because it's such a slow process. But uh, I'm not going to speed it up just so you guys can see it in real time. The amount of force and time it takes to pull this thing fully out. And once it's out more with the open light, I'll get more shots of the side of the trailer. You'll see why they made this call. It's absolutely suicide to bring it up under that bridge. There's a lot of times we love to be a hero, but this isn't one of those times. One more pull forward. By the way, I'm filming all this with my Sony FX3. Since Dave and Alex are the primary on this one with uh, Echo as the, the record for the tow out. Like I said earlier, I'm able to just kick back and record this one for them. So now everything's in free spool. Which means they're going to drive it forward. The final step. All right. Now this one, I'll probably just set it down at a convenient spot and just fast forward it. I was paying attention so that might have been way too blown out with the brightness but 
Check it out. Well, that's enough. That's good. We can go again one more time. One more time, right? Yeah. Dude, your angle's getting too extreme now. Yeah. But not bad, not bad. Let us zoom out. We're doing one more free spool. And from the looks like of it, it looks like, uh, yeah, you know what? We could put one truck, both trucks on this side. There'll be some room right here. Man, this thing, oof. Uh, this is the part where I got to put the camera down because as the guys do the last step, I'm going to start getting these airbags out. And this is what's going to save the load, prevent us from offloading and prevent us from tearing open the trailer. I think we're done. Beautiful job, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. Looks like we're done. Yep, done. All right, put the Sony down because this is a, a no hands thing. The DJI Pocket 3 is a lot easier to do stuff like this. Got all the back set up on the other side. Filled up the compressor. Now we're just gonna wait right now. Alex is gonna swing over the whole front. That way everything's aligned with the rear. We want that because both trucks need to be on this side of the trailer. For maximum strength, man. If you have one truck on the opposite side, you gotta figure it's gonna be pulling the trailer to you. Pulling against a fully loaded drive-in that's damaged is incredibly risky. So we did all this work to bring it out safely. Only to crush it on the upper over here is a big no-no. Big Flipper, you're strong. Flipper's very strong. 
Would you say strong enough to defeat a sleeping giant? Not every single time. <laughs> let me Those get. Banker hours. Echo, you're strong. Now, in case you guys are new here, I got a pretty popular YouTube channel, I'd say. And my guys absolutely love their jobs. Especially the, the tough ones where you're under pressure like this. Absolutely love it. And we get a kick out of viewing all the video afterwards. But I know there's going to be comments. Put the camera down and help. Like, dude, relax. They got this. Alright guys, so everything's primed and prepped right here. All the airbag stuff. MacGyver himself showed up. He was on his way back from a, a local job, so we got him helping out. And this is how we're gonna move the tractor part over. Alex is gonna use big flippers, super strong and long boom to lift up the rear of the tractor axle, which should bring up the front of the trailer. And then we dropped this auxiliary line to assist in bringing the tractor over so it doesn't fight us. And the goal is to get everything as much over here as possible. Well, let's hope this works. Oh yeah, and this guy showed up too. <laughs> I was just leaving. Thanks for the Gatorades. Oh! They got the whole crew on this one, man. The cool thing about Flipper, man, as you can see, every part of this truck is strong. Wow. In one shot, bro, that was pretty cool. Whoa, he ain't done yet. It's good like that. Like I was saying, man, Big Flipper's strictly an exclusive recovery unit. No underlift, no towing. Just absolute brutal brute force for stuff like this. That's beautiful, man. That's plenty. You can still park a little bit up on the curb. Yeah, I'll park right Full here. extended outriggers just kissing the, the trailer. That way you guys can be pretty retracted in. Let the bags do the hard initial part. We got DJ, DJ Dave in the mix tonight. Why don't you show more MacGyver? That guy is the backbone of Peppa's Toll, man. He keeps the company together. Hello. Stop him when he gets to the, there you go.
you see how far the guys had dragged it out. Now this will allow Dave to blow out fully with his outriggers, which you're gonna need with this weight. Rotate over the side. So the center of his boom is like right here at about 45 to 50 degrees. Close to fully retracted, so he's gonna be incredibly strong. And then you got Flipper up front doing the same, but for the front end. Airbags are ready to position. Airlines are all connected. Overtime echo. <laughs> now Alex is just gonna finish swinging over the tractor. With, now that the trailer straight, you can see how it's not centered, but now it is. Now it is. Then Alex is gonna get on this side, right in back of Dave. And Echo will take his spot to do the equalizing sling method. Oh, we're making great timing. Yeah. yeah. I've been monitoring. These jobs, a lot of people um, it's not that they struggle with them. It's just these are incredibly complex jobs. I know we goof around and we're having fun on this only because we've done this so many times, but these are incredibly risky. So the normal way someone would approach this without experience is to offload it. You open up the rear, but when it's a shifted load of, of 26 or 28 pallets, rolls of grass, it's everywhere, that's gonna be a nightmare. That, Offload process alone, we've done them, trust me. Takes longer than the entire, this whole operation. The second one is to just upright it as is and that, that's gonna tear the trailer. Your straps or chains will go right through that like butter. So that's where the, the airbags come in handy. Everyone working together in unison to set everything up. Ensures a really, really, really clean, smooth, upright. By the way, check this out, guys. I barely made this, and this is the first sample. Yeah, I know. We'll be on sale soon. This is what a big multi-truck wreck looks like. And this is exactly why we drug it all the way out here. I say we as in the company, but man, Alex and Dave are the stars of this one again. It's such a good feeling as a boss to know you can continue working on the, you know, the, the day in to day outs and have the stuff like this covered. Cause this is incredibly hard stuff. 
finding a, a true rotator operator like these guys, oof, very hard. But you see how high Dave's boom is? There's no possible way you can get this kind of lift to do a pre-pick. A pre-pick is when you pick up one side um, to crib it. That way you can get your rigging underneath and you need straps for this. You couldn't do that under the bridge. You can get a much better visual from up top, man, how tight this is. That's why uh, in the last part, you saw Alex scoot this thing over. As he even scooted over, his outriggers aren't even fully extended. It's very tight. And this is the bridge. I believe up here should be State Street. Oh no, that's the freeway. This is actually where I got off. We're on the uh, 101 to the 10 East connector. So, I mean, I never do these analysis because I'm not the driver, but you guys take a wild guess on how this thing flipped. Coming from all the way where those cop cars are. If you see how, how extreme that turn is, I'm sure you could take a guess. Perhaps speed was a factor. Looks like we got all of Caltrans here as well to assist with the cleanup. Right, guys so i threw the drone up pretty high up so this is where he was coming from this is what uh los angeles looks like at night we are very very close to downtown and there's downtown los angeles right there It ain't New York City, but it's pretty cool. But anyways, let's follow the path. <laughs> See exactly where this guy went wrong. So from this interchange, my analysis is, boom, breakneck speed. Took the corner right here a little too fast, started wobbling, and boom, that's the point of impact. You see those scrape marks? right underneath the bridge. And there we are now. The pre-pick is about to get started. Once that happens, they set the airbags. And then once that happens, the straps go under. Looks like truck surgery, huh? Like the truck is under, uh, under anesthesia asleep and the rotators are operating on it. All right, I have to move Echo's truck in position since the guys are almost done with the airbags. Is that good? Pull out the cables, please. Do you have free spool on them? No. Free spool, please. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Here. I won't need free spool for this. You do 
Yes. Go down with the ball. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Okay, extend out. There you go. Extend out. I'll pull him again. Look, and these are the positive latch ones. So you're not going to put on. You're not going to do on. We don't need it. You want it? You want it? You want to do an equalizer? Oh, no, we got to lift it so we can close the hood. We should do an equalizer. I'll set that up. So we go up so we can close the hood? Yeah, let me attach the, these first directly to do that. You're not going to damage the hood, right? No, go up. There you go. Good. Now this is just to close the hood. See if it'll come over easy. Let me get a strap. So I have to record this. This is why airbags are king on a job like this and 100% vital. You put them strategically throughout the length of the trailer. And as they inflate, it brings 100% even tension throughout the entire wall. So normally the way we do trailers is with the angle irons. But even those have limits. And that's what it looks like with the hood closed. That way as this comes over, this hood will not pop open and get in our way. 
which is very good. And I got my equalizer sling ready. That's gonna go on these pull pins when I drop it right now. Just gonna check up on the guys. Top of the airbag, see how they have the, the high pressure air max as well. A lot of air stuff. Air is very powerful. These are the 16 tons. Beautiful. Oh, dang. They already got the airbags in the back, too. Well, I'm in the middle. Very nice, my friend. That one's a good one. Dave's already got his straps. He's pretty much ready. He's gonna put a snatch box right here at the ends of these straps. And like I said, he'll be pretty high up, close to full retraction. So this shark will be extra strong. I'm gonna text a snatch block from you. All right, as you guys saw a little bit earlier, they got these bags ready to go and Dave's already hooked up. Alex got one line under here. We use the combination of those high pressure bags to get this aluminum angle iron to protect the strap. You see how jagged that is? And these bags do not get enough credit for how freaking cool they are, man. You inflate them and then just set the uh, the lock. Yeah, buddy. But once the airbags work their magic then the strap takes over and then you you feed in the airbags again Let's, ah. that's what that big boy's gonna do that way there's even pressure throughout the whole length of the trailer I just jumped down from there. I set up the catch lines for the guys. This is what it looks like, man. We're done. Good. I'm gonna stand on the back. All that hard work, time and labor for a couple minutes of air time. Left 
stop. You see how the airbags are slowly inflating? You got to match the pace of that. Almost, baby. Keep inflating. Well, we didn't expect this one to pop out in the front. That's where it was the most sunken in. Very difficult to, to force it under. You could only pre-pick so much before it rips and we don't want that to happen, but it did pop out. Now they're going to level it out, go in with the lift, there we go. You guys got it, there you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, 
awesome, awesome, awesome. Right on the inside of the curb. Done. Now they're gonna level it out. Go in with the lift. There we go. You guys got it. There you go, there you go, there you go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right on the inside of the curb. Done. Your smell. Your chain. Oh, hard job, bro. Very hard job. I wish he was. Check that out. Echo had this too tight. Yeah. Way too tight. It would have came over a bit more smooth, but not bad, dude. That was hard. All right, let me put the camera down. All right, and this is the result of all that hard work. was not the smoothest but man it was tough mega mega heavy so cameras are dying guys i didn't charge them from the last job so i'm going to turn it off we're going to start putting everything back away in my uh, environmental truck i'll get back to you guys when we're outro all right all right put away Awesome. That was fun. Heading up the airbags is so much work. What up, Castro? Yeah. Why do you look like a reject Vonzi? I know, I like it. Hey. hey. You show up when all the work is done, huh? That feels good. <laughs> Woo! Hazmat truck's done. What's going to happen with the cleanup? Well, tell Transel. Well, well, up out to a certain degree, but I'm sure they're gonna want us to take the big pieces. All right, I'll start. I got the flatbed here. Oh, the flatbed. Well, none of this will go on the flatbed. This we could throw back in the tractor. All right. Copy, copy. Well, oh, Castro brought the tractor to tow uh, to tow the trailer, and each one will be backed into the yard. I'm the trash man. All right, and just like that, we're outro, guys. Peanut is done. Caltrans will do the rest. Echo's just going to pull the tractor from the trailer. Both of them? This is all going back to our Puente yard. Until further notice. Oh, 
Let's get Castro in hot. What? Let's get Castro in hot. Let me see, judging from the sides, not too shabby, huh? No, it's not. Beautiful. Now we're good. Good job, Kasher. You made it into the YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm done recording. We are outro. Caltrans sweepers here. Everyone's tired. I did the least amount of work, but I'm still tired. Peace out. <laughs>